Hello everyone. Uh, we're gonna do today a quick application to do a schedule for the areas of the field region using a simple Dynamo script. We're gonna start and go to the Manage tab and hit the Shared Parameters. And we're gonna go ahead and create a new shared parameter that we're gonna call it um, uh, shared parameters. Let's see shared parameters. And we're gonna hit save, then create a new group, call it build regions. And with this group, we're gonna create our new shared parameters that's gonna be the region area. And this has to be a number. Go ahead and do that. And um, now we have our shared parameters ready to go. So we're going to go to start Dynamo right now and um, start doing our simple script that's going to help us create the schedule for the uh, areas from field regions. So we're going to jump right here and, create, and add some nodes. I'm going to start with the categories nodes. And... Um, right here and I'm going to choose the detail items so detail items and next I'm going to go to all elements of category right here and I'm going to connect these guys together then we're going to get the list filter full mask List. Um, filter pull mask right here. And I'm gonna put this guy right there. Connect elements with the list. Then we want to get the um, string from object right there. We're gonna also connect connected elements with the object right there then we want the equal equal node so I'm gonna put this guy right there and um, we want to connect the string with the X then we're gonna look for code block node right here and that's where we're gonna filter the Field regions. So field. Oh, this needs to be capital. Field region. Uh, all right. Here, I know what's going on. Here. Field region. I'm gonna connect this with the uh, Y. Then we want to get the mask with the variation right there. Then the next step is to um, get the element. Let me get parameter by value. Get parameter value name basically. And we're going to put this guy right here and connect the, a, the ends with the elements. And um, we will want to get a, another call block to call the parameter that we want to copy, which is the area parameter from the book region. So we're going to type it exactly, uh, sorry, exactly like show right here so we're gonna connect this with the parameter name oh also always remember I prefer to make this manual so it doesn't run them automatically so um, next we want to get the um, element set parameter by name so element set parameter by name is basically this node is going to help us copy the values on the area parameter that we cannot schedule in the field regions 
to a new parameter that we already created ahead of time, which is the care parameter we did. I walked you got through creating it before. So right now we want to get a call block node again to call the new parameter, which is the region um, um, area parameter right here. And this guy needs to go with the parameter name and uh, all the ends we want to connect it to the elements and um, um, here we want to connect the value with the the with these nodes so right now um i think we're good to go so the next step is we want to run this uh, uh script in our project to make sure it do all what we want so right now uh, we have all the script ready to go, but before we run it, we need to go back in our project and uh, uh, start doing our schedule real quick. And before that, I wanna go to uh, manage and uh, go to project parameters. And we want to add, we created already a shared parameter before, but we didn't actually add it to the category we want. So we're gonna go ahead to project parameters and uh, get shared parameter, then select it. We have the region error right here. Gonna press OK, and we wanna assign this uh, to the field regions. Uh, so, uh, sorry, to the detail items. We don't have a field region here. We have the detail items. So we wanna make sure we assign this shared parameter to the detail items so that we can schedule it. So we're gonna hit OK, then OK. Then now we wanna go to View, uh, Schedules, Schedules, and then we wanna go to Detail Items. And uh, just for fun, I'm gonna call this guy uh, filled regions areas. You know, I'm gonna hit OK. Then we want, I want the type name, uh, basically a type. And I also want the uh, region area. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. So right now you can see we have the, uh, uh, three uh, field region types and we have the region area here which is still blank and the reason it's still blank is that we did not run the script yet so if we go back to dynamo and um, just for fun make this guy smaller a little bit and maybe put it right here and uh, when we hit run you can see that all the areas now will appear in a schedule and just in case you decided that you want to change these guys. So let's say you're going to change it like this, change this guy like this and change this guy like that. You go back to schedule. They're not going to, they're not going to change lively. It's just, you have to make sure that you have the script open and you need to run it again every time you change any of these uh, filled regions. So that was it for today. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you think that this was a useful content. And um, I will see you in the next videos.